Hello and welcome to another video. Today is going to be a different type of video, you know, different style. Usually with my videos I'll show off the machine, do some performance benchmarks, and then call it a day. Well, this is going to be kind of like a more laid back, more longer episode. And today I have this thing right here. This is a Dell Inspiron 4000 from the early 2000s. Now, you might be wondering why I bought this. Well, I remember I was just I was in a car and I was just looking for deals on cheap laptops and I saw this thing up here on eBay for pretty cheap because it was untested because this thing uses a really strange power connector. I don't know if you can see it right there might be kind of hard to see but it's not like circular so and didn't have the original charger so it was untested so I bought it for pretty cheap I don't know how much exactly but I'll screenshot show up on screen and basically it got here and the laptop did turn on but the screen was all messed up and stuff and I don't know if I have video of that but if I do then you'll probably be seeing it right now and also the battery in this thing is completely dead and the computer won't actually turn on if the battery is installed so this is the battery here and it's pretty basic 3360 milliamp hour battery but what's cool about these batteries is that this right here I don't know if you can actually hear it or not, but that's actually a button. And what it'll do is if the battery wasn't dead, it would show you lights here of like the battery's health and stuff, but whenever I press it, it just doesn't do anything. And since this is a removable battery, if I want to have the battery installed in the machine, I have to turn on the machine and then put in the battery because these batteries are hot swappable you can technically have two batteries in this machine I don't know how long it will last you but placement batteries of these are not very cheap uh, the cheapest I can find is from some random website for about $22 and then it's about $25 on Walmart's website for a Chinese battery like you're not gonna be able to find these batteries Original and like eBay. They're like $200 for some reason. I don't even think they're genuine so If I ever so desire to I will place battery Which I might cuz it's a pretty nice machine. I mean You know, it looks pretty nice. I mean, it's a little dirty and some scratches but I mean, it's pretty nice on the bottom you have Windows Millennium Edition key yes this thing did ship with Windows Millennium Edition yeah so in the front we here we have a spot for a battery and we also have the removable CD-ROM drive now this can be changed out with anything you can either have a CD-ROM drive, floppy drive, a DVD drive, or even another battery. So on the side here we have the infrared sensor, some LEDs, headphone, microphone jack, modem, ethernet, S-video, and then on the back we have serial, parallel, an external dock port, and you can buy external docks about 25 bucks online PS2 keyboard mouse combo port one USB 1 port yes it is a USB 1 port very slow VGA and then that strange connector you can see a little better and then on this side we have two PCM CIA slots and the hard drive and speaking of hard drive hard drive capacity in this thing pretty bad it's only 10 gigs it's an old IBM 5400 RPM drive it's pretty slow so today I was thinking maybe if everything goes well we can install oops, 
install Windows XP on this CD. I just burned his Windows XP Surge Pack 3 on it. And yeah, hopefully you'll we'll be able to install Windows XP and then do some modern web browsing, like web browsing, watching YouTube, stuff like that. And if everything works, I will be able to do a follow-up where I try to use this laptop, so my main laptop, for like, I don't know, like a day or a weekend or something. I haven't decided yet. So if you open up the laptop, I mean, hinges on this thing are basically dead. Yeah. So, got the screen, and then you can't see it, but you got a keyboard, pretty basic keyboard. You have a fairly small touchpad. You also have the Pentium 3 and Windows MA sticker. So, yeah, let's get this thing set up. I don't have the original adapter, and they're pretty hard to come by. However, for just a incredible deal of $7, you can get this pretty sketchy looking Chinese adapter that will work. I mean, I've been using it for about a month now, no problems, so I guess it's reliable for the short term. So, let's just plug this in. Alright, let's turn on the system and let's take a look in the BIOS. So yeah, I did fix the screen, I just simply fixed it by opening up and just reconnecting all the connectors that are inside of it. It's pretty impressive what unplugging and replugging or unconnecting and reconnecting can do. Now this is the Latitude C600 because the, ri I, the original board died, so the cheapest option was just get a Latitude C600 motherboard basically the same thing, pretty sure the latitude was just cheaper sh shell or whatever. So in the BIOS here, we have the mobile Pentium 3 running at 800 megahertz. We have an ATI M3 video card. Not sure if there are drivers, because on Dell's website, it doesn't go any higher than Windows 2000. We have a 10 gig hard drive, it's pretty depressing. And, let's see if we just go through here. Nothing too interesting to see and yeah you can't have two batteries and it will tell you battery situation actually you know what I'm gonna plug it in you know what I'm gonna have to move this back slightly but I'll just put in the battery see what happens I mean I already know what will happen but I'm sure if I go yep there we go see it says it's charging, it's at 0%, but it'll never charge. So, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So, I'm just gonna quickly put in the CD. And, okay, well, I'm gonna have to move this out of the way a bit. Okay, so changes, yes. Alright, and it looks like the Windows XP installation is starting. I don't know if this lamp is bothering. Is it better like that? And we'll keep it like that. If I like focus this iPhone right there, it doesn't look bad. Now, when I got this laptop, the hard drive wasn't wiped, and it was originally running like, Windows XP from like a business or something. But software on it was pretty bad, nothing cool. Cause it wasn't like a home computer was used for like business stuff. So. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just do a time lapse and uh, yeah, see you guys in a bit.
finally did it, and uh, yeah, this battery seems to be dead. That's fine. It's not actually almost 4 a.m. It's actually 9:34, but yeah. So we have Windows XP up and running here, and let's just go take a look. So we have Pentium 3 processor, 800 megahertz, 512 megs of RAM. Let's just see. If I need anything else besides the video driver. And seems like I don't. So what I'm going to do now is what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this. This is the anchor USB splitter and I'm going to plug it in the back and then I'm going to plug in this USB Wi-Fi adapter that says it works with Windows XP and I do have a PCMCIA Wi-Fi card but I can't get the drivers to work on Windows 98 or 2000 so maybe I'll have better luck with XP but this last resort so let's just I do another reach around. Alright, it is the next day. And I finally got the wireless connectivity to work. I am not using the USB Wi-Fi adapter because I couldn't find the right drivers online. And I don't have a CD for this anymore. And then... So, I've just decided to use this, it's a, um, SMC PCMCIA Wi-Fi card, and, uh, yeah, works great. So, now I'm just turning on Windows XP right here, <laughs> turning it on, and, uh, I'm gonna finish downloading some applications, and we can see how well it performs doing modern-day tasks like web browsing. Alright, I think I have the web browser all set and ready to go so let's try and do this real time uh windows xp yeah okay so let's so google chrome crashes for some reason whenever i do, use that so i'm just going to use opera also going to open up task manager to look at the cpu usage yep <coughs> pretty high and uh ooh. yeah so this is ebay.com, and, uh, I mean, it loads, there's just no pictures. So, you know what, let's, let's just look up something, so. I don't know if the reason why I, the images are, are loading is because of the web browser or what, but I'm gonna assume it is. CPU is at a hundred percent usage. Let's just close that. Yeah, this is pretty slow. Um, okay, I think eBay. I don't think eBay is going to work. So let's try. Let's see if we can get the web browser version of Discord working. Ooh. Okay. Well. Yeah, maybe not. Um, there's something I could click here, though. Oh. Well, click the thing to download it. I guess I could try. I don't know. Actually, <laughs> I actually don't know if you if you can actually download Discord for Windows XP and have it work. But it's downloading at an incredible 380 kilobits a second, or kilobytes, not bits. Okay. Um. Well, that's doing its thing. Let's try. Okay. So. Now let's try and go to, uh, you know what, let's go to my Fortnite channel, Toasty, 
Oh, well, there it is. I guess it loaded that. Let's see. Oh, well, we can load a YouTube video. I have nothing else open in the background besides Task Manager and the Wi-Fi software. Okay. So, let's do... I'm just going to have sound off, just because... Okay, so let's try. Yeah, this is pretty bad. Um, so none of the images are gonna load. That's fine. Let's do. You know what? I'll do the most popular thing on this. You know, I'll actually be really impressed if it can play stuff at like 144p even. But um, I don't think it's gonna load. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's gonna load. But I am gonna try something. Sure, I'm using a mouse now because if I'm going to be playing games on here, I'm not going to try to use the touchpad. So, let's go... Let's try... This. See how well this does. You know, loading web pages isn't actually that bad. Alright, let's try this. MP4. Oh, okay. Okay, well, it won't go off MP3. You know what? Fine, I'm doing music, but you know what we'll do? Okay, you know what? It's just, it's not gonna work. Okay, so let's try. Hmm. What website should we try? How about. Twitter. Twitter's a. But. Well! Let's try. Now, this website. Like, the news part of it. Is for some reason really hard to run. Unlike even like modern day low end computers. Like, if you go to the news part of this website. On like a Chromebook, it still struggles for some reason, even with an ad blocker. But it does seem like images are starting to load on this website. <laughs> this is so slow. Okay, I don't think it's gonna load anymore. Um, oh, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Let's do... Let's try this. Alright, not so bad. I mean, it's not perfect, obviously, but... This isn't too bad, loaded in the image, not sure if the font's correct or not, but it loaded the man pretty good. Alright, so we're gonna try out these speakers now. They're at about half volume, so I'll just let you listen to yourself. I do not own the music. Alright, now let's test the gaming aspect of this laptop. Can you play old games on this thing? 
Let's find out with some benchmarks. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely leave a like and subscribe. Uh, as you can tell, it's probably, you can probably tell it's a little rushed near the end, but uh, yeah, if you want to pick these up, they're not really cheap. I mean, they are for parts, but to get one like fully functional and stuff, they're really expensive for some reason. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. Maybe I will do a follow-up video where I replace the hard drive with a um like a compact flash card or something and maybe install a replacement battery or something or i don't know maybe we'll never see this again because i'll sell it but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys next time